everybody, Angie Martin here. I tried to upload this part four of my Salvation Army video. Um, I tried to upload it at least four or five, six times. I don't know, but anyway, I'm having to recreate it because it just would not, I just kept getting an error code. So I picked a few things out, uh, brought them back out here on the porch because some of the stuff I have listed already or I have the pictures taken rather. I don't I don't think I have anything listed yet, but yeah, so I thought I'd show you. This is the one hat that I got in there, the Salvation Army. Uh I liked it because and I like this one better than the Panama one in there, which I didn't end up getting. But I like this one because it had the rolled brim. I just thought it was uh cuter. Um it's by Callanan and it's it's nicely made. I, I think it's really really nice. And I've sold those with the rolled brim before, so I think I can sell that. Uh, this is the little pot that I was about to show you. Um, it's got a dent in it, but um, not sure if I'm gonna sell that on Etsy or not. Did I show you this already? I might have already showed you that. Anyway, if I did, sorry. There it is again. <laughs> uh, did, uh, this is a uh, little Chinese vase. They had this uh, table in there that everything was a quarter on the table. So this was on the quarter table. And I thought, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it because I like those. See, they did have it marked 250 but they marked that off and then stuck it on the quarter table so no chips or cracks pretty colors so yeah I got that um, I got this for a quarter um, the Lord's Prayer a little vintage thing you hang up little, little book on the back it says uh, Elvin Japan hand painted so the strings a little grody, but uh, strings a little grody, but I'm I don't I, you know it's vintage. What are you gonna do? Um, I did wash it, but uh, the string didn't come clean. But anyway, yeah, I think it's pretty. Somebody might want that. The Lord's Prayer is always good to know and to read and to pray. Uh, I got this vintage. Trafari stick pin, which I really like. It's um geometric enamel, different colors of blue enamel. It's got some light scratches on it, but all in all, it's in pretty good shape. It looks pretty cool, I think. I like the sh the uh, design of it that it's you know geometric, pretty neat. So yeah, and it's signed Trafari, which is always good. And um, of the other jewelry, I got these earrings. Uh, I usually do well with um, nautical style earrings for some reason. So they're clip-ons. Got those. They were um, the, the pin was fifty cents. These were a dollar. This pin was fifty cents, which. I like it because it is actually gold filled and marked on the back and that's a lapis lapis stone in there cabochon looks like it may be cracked on the edge though I'm not sure I have to look at that a little closer still a pretty piece and uh, I got this necklace it was uh a dollar kind of uh, burnished gold or antiqued gold with a little medallion floral medallion on it um, yeah it's interesting I I don't think it's super old but I think it's uh, vintage enough for Etsy hopefully um, there's no way that's one thing about Etsy I mean if you have jewelry you just more or less have to guess and hope that it's you know as old as it's supposed to be um, 
a lot of my jewelry is obviously, you know, 80s or earlier. This, this is kind of a piece where, hmm, I'm guessing and hoping it's before the 90s. And it can could very well be, so I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to go ahead and list it. And, uh, I got this. I might, should not have gotten this. Um, I always pick up things that are horse related. I know people collect horses, but the last thing that I got, uh, did not sell yet. The last piece of jewelry that I got that was horse related. But this is a nice little tie tack. I'm not sure if that's a genuine, you know, jade stone in there or not, but it's open, open work, tie tack, horse motif. Um, yeah, that was a dollar fifty. So I don't know. Normally I wouldn't buy something a dollar fifty. And uh, here is the. This is a poncho, and just uh, check out those colors on there. That's obviously vintage. Um, it's got the fringed edge on it. And it's in very nice condition. It's just uh, it's just long and wide and has a hole in it for your head. So actually, if it if it doesn't get any uh, views or I, I haven't decided yet. Like I might put it on the back of my sofa, my leather sofa, because I think it would look neat there. It's pretty cool. But we'll see. Not sure. Not sure. Have to do some research on it. And then last, this is for Thrifty Teresa. I picked this up just to show her. Because I know she'd like it. Because she collects this kind of stuff. See? Cool, huh? Do you have anything like that, Teresa? Um, this looks like something that would be on your wall in the background there where you make your videos. Or else in your shop. Uh, it's plastic, but... It's, it's pretty, I think. It's a little wall hanging. God bless our home. Let's see what it says on the back. Actually says three ninety five on there, and then it says seventy five cents. But I got it for a quarter. Now, can you tell me what would go in there? What goes in that hole? A little plant, or holy water, or what? I don't know. But anyway, yes, that's for you, Teresa. Cool. And that concludes my video. Uh, part four, Salvation Army. We got a half an inch of rain yesterday, which was great. Uh, we really need the rain. Um, everything was starting to get seriously dry. And we're still in a deficit, so I hope we get some more rain. I didn't show you these pots lately. Look at the stink bugs. Ugh, do you guys have stink bugs? I'll show you what one looks like if you don't have any. Oh, there it flew away. Okay. I won't show you. Um, geranium pots are looking pretty nice. And this is that one pot that I planted. Yeah, but this is not a gardening video. It was supposed to be my haul video. They've kind of been bleeding into each other. <laughs> the haul videos and the gardening videos, but I can't help it. They're both of my interests. So that's all for now. Have a great Sunday. Be kind when you're picking and be blessed and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. See ya.